Starting show number 1000 on CBS FM. Now, here's a message from an FOBS friend of the big show. Hey, Scott, Mickey Dolan's here. Congratulations, 1,000 shows. I was a CBS FM morning guy, so I know how tough that can be. Congratulations, and here's to another 1,000 shows. Shannon in the morning, CBS FM. Yeah, Mickey had a run. Does anybody remember Mickey on CBS FM? <laughs> he was awesome. Celebrating Big Show number 1,000 with a few of our close, warm, personal friends here today. Thank you. Thank you so much. I think we need a live audience every day. I love this. No, we <laughs> Everybody's so sweet. I love them. But this will be tough. Oh, come I on. I can't, I can't, I can't wear my way. shorts and my, and my golf shirts. Uh, and I'll go, what's wrong with you? Don't you dress up. <laughs> uh, I got to tell you something. When I first came to CBS FM, I had always wanted to come here, but I didn't want it. I didn't want it to be under the circumstances that happened to occur at that particular time. <laughs> you wanted it to be a choice. <laughs> as I as I said this before, there was a, a a person in my life, young man from Atlanta, Georgia, thought he was thought he knew what he was doing in radio. He didn't know a damn thing, and he thought it was time for me to retire. And I said, you know what? I told the guy, I said, I'll retire, but I'll figure it out on my own, not from young, some young ass from Atlanta, Georgia. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, Go, Scott. And, uh, <laughs> and the rest is history. And we put together, we put the band back together and came back here. Uh, there was some other carnage from the other show that people had been kicked to the curb before me. And uh, I put them all together. One of them sitting to my right and the other one sitting to my left. <laughs> and uh, we got on CBS FM and the station was kind enough to support us. And uh, we went to number one in the morning first time back in 2015. And the last time... I had the number one morning show. I was working with Ross. It was 1988. Wow. That's a gap of 27 years. Wow. Oh, and man. I have to thank all the devout, uh, devout listeners, which is a devout. 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 The special listeners from <laughs> CBS, <laughs> from CBS FM and the people who came with us from the other station. Because that, that was just it was a great feeling, let's put it that way. You can thank that ass in uh, Atlanta, too, because the yeah. bottom line is he put you in a place to go to number one. So. Without, without him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he didn't mean to. <laughs> so, thank, so thank you, John. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I appreciate it. So, and, and, and we have so much fun in the morning. It's just such a, I, don't, I hope it comes through on the radio because we have a wonderful family and they're all up here with me, Sue and John right there, and Patty, and my friend Brad Blanks over here celebrating his 18th anniversary with us, and uh, Louie and Kermit, the rest of the crew. Now, we've made a lot of friends in the past uh, four and a half years, many listeners and a few people in the entertainment business. This is a guy who, I don't know, I, I forget how I ran into him, but uh, I never knew him before, never met him, and uh, he he became one of our best friends, and he's a a wonderful, wonderful man. Not to mention a great musician. I think he's got to work next week. Doesn't he have to work he Thursday works night? all the time? <laughs> Please welcome Mr. Mark Rivera. <laughs> Blow it, baby! <laughs> Woo! Come on around over here. We got a place for you. Or on my lap, if you'd like. <laughs> wow, Patty. <laughs> All <laughs> right. Risky. Yeah. Was that Golden Throat? <laughs> that was Golden Throat. Mark You're Rivera listening. is here. Hello. And uh, uh. this is uh, number 17 appearance on the show. Wow. Is that all? That's it. <laughs> oh, uh, there's, uh, love me anymore. I remember, oh, really I remember back when, uh, I don't know who it was, who was somebody, does anybody know who had the record on the Johnny Carson show? Oh, uh, There was somebody who appeared there like a jillion times, and the same Betty with Midler? Amazing Kreskin. <laughs> no, it wasn't Kreskin. 
But in the same thing with uh, American Bandstand and Dick Clark, uh, Freddie Boom Boom Cannon from the old days had been on that show the most times. And you you have the award, the am, special. Am I approaching that that pinnacle? Yes, you. <laughs> I think you have the pinnacle. You're sitting on hey, it why, right watch. now. <laughs> but uh, December, this December, will complete five years for you and your friend Billy at yes. uh, Madison Square That's Garden right. That's for right. the residency. Was I yes. right? Are you working next Thursday night there? Yes, I, unless you heard something I don't know about. No, it. no, I don't know anything about it. <laughs> no, it's Thursday night. Um, it's his 101. His yeah. show number 101. Oh, how about, what a, how, you what a nice tribute this, right? to CBS yeah. FM, Billy Joel doing show number 101. Show number 101. Is there anybody in the audience who have heard, has heard uh, Mark on the show before and you have a question that's been burning in your soul oh, well. and you just got to ask him something? <laughs> has anybody got anything that's been bugging you? Thank you. Good. Thank you for, <laughs> thank you for saying nothing. He's, si he's, he's nobody. Is golden. Nobody cares <laughs> about nobody cares. what. No, they care. Believe me, they cared in that ruined my reputation by asking questions. I just, that might, uh, can I, I ask a question? Of no, course. God so I'm I'm intrigued. Uh, 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 a musician of your caliber, working with world class musicians. Mm -hmm. Do you guys uh, rehearse? Uh, we do. You know, sound check, make sure that, uh, I mean, at, th at this point, the garden, I mean, I don't want to sound like a, a um, too cavalier about a it. A grizzled veteran. No, it, it, it's like, it's like, a, it's like a, a, a dinner club for us. It's so, it's so, wow. it's so Well, you guys make so it sound good. that way. You're so, well, it's such well, an intimate feeling. It's the greatest. Well, it's Bill, Billy. That's Billy. I mean, to, but um, yeah, you are too, though, because I would you're very watch kind, but it, it, warmth. It, it starts at the head of the horse. Yeah. And the heat, well, the heat, you're absolutely right. Heat, well, that's but heat, better than being at the other end. Yeah, that, that right. So, <laughs> but, uh, I mean, the, the, 100th, the hundredth show was amazing. I mean, uh, you know, you go to the garden, and and anytime you get you step on Madison, uh, the the, the uh, stage of Madison Square Garden, is unbelievable in general. But we had we had you know the guest come up. I don't know if you know, but the boss Bruce yeah. Springsteen yeah, came up. Like, I no, got the point. nobody got the point. nobody <laughs> heard about that. Really, <laughs> <laughs> what are you got, talking got, about? You don't we, know if we know. We we got to do Tenth Avenue Freeze Out and and uh, Born oh. to Run, and the crowd was polyphes. Lesbian. Yeah. <laughs> see what I mean? See, yeah. see, see that's that's the word. Poly, see, poly, yeah. poly, that's poly the the, just just so you know, polyphlesbian is a word that just rolls off my tongue. Yeah. About yeah. Eight, yeah. We're talking to Mark Rivera. For other reasons. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. That night when you did that, yes. did it occur to you that you were up there playing the part of the big man? Of course. Man. I mean, there's certain things. That, Sex players kind of like all uh, relate well, to one. Well, uh, uh, well, look, there's, there's, to, to me, there's uh, King Curtis, Junior Walker. I mean, the, these are uh, again. I come from the rock and roll. People talk about John Coltrane and and, uh, and uh, Charlie Parker, but these guys, to me, Junior Walker, uh, C. Clarence, the, these guys. Small club. Small, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Small club. Well, you it? know what? I'm, I'm, I'm honored to be a part of it and to have a. Uh, I mean, when I with Foreigner, uh, Junior Walker played the solo. I played the bits before Urgent, but the solo was Junior Walker. And it's a, it's an honor to be in that circle wow. of people. You know what? I like to tell you about all the things he has done in his life and things he's involved in, but it takes too damn long <laughs> because this guy <laughs> is so. never oh, I home. Need to, I need he's to be closer. Home. I'm sorry. He's always touring, <laughs> and uh, you do a great job with Billy. And one of the things that I said a while ago, I said it on the radio, is that I've seen Billy sing. A long time. I saw him sing before he ever had a big hit before record. Before anybody knew him. I saw him in Memphis, Tennessee wow. when he sang Fats Domino and, oh, really? and Elvis and all that and packed the nightclub. I've never seen him sing better than he's singing now. I, I, I have to agree with you. And he's he's comfortable. Uh, we, we, we joke about it, how like... Um, this will be my 94th show with him at the Garden. Wow. wow. Congratulations. Pretty, pretty good. Mark Rivera, ladies and gentlemen, is going to hang out with us a while. And if anybody thinks of a question, he'll be here if you need him. <laughs> in the meantime, checking in this morning is another friend of ours. She's been very, very busy taping uh, Kitten Bowl 6 all week. Yeah. You know who that might be? Yeah. Huh? yeah Beth. Beth Stern. Good morning. <laughs> Woo. Can you hear me? She fell back asleep. Oh, no. <laughs> no. How about Beth? now? Beth? Now she's gone. Beth. 
Well, that was a great introduction, though, wasn't it? Well, it was a great introduction. Yeah. <laughs> She's going like this. I can't hear you, Scott. We'll check in with her later on. No yeah. big deal. We'll get her back. I told you it wasn't going to go that smooth today. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know it's live. <laughs> Coming up, we'll blast it off at 8 o'clock this morning, and then our special surprise guest will be here. Take a quick break. Back in a flash. CBS FM, big show number 1,000. <laughs> 